All right, so uh, here we are with uh, Clint Capella of the Rio Grande Valley Vipers, Clint. Uh, first of all, congratulations. You know, that last game you had 31 points and all that coming from the inside. Uh, do you ever go to the outside? Do you ever think about shooting those threes? I know that's what the Madison Smith talks a lot about is, is shooting the threes as far as the team is concerned. But for you, you play the inside game, right? Yeah, I just, uh, just trying to uh, be aggressive under the rim. So uh, I tell you, I made a lot of shots. Uh, I've been aggressive, so it was a good game for me. So that's fine. That's good. Tell me a little bit about your time. Uh, you spent up with the Rockets, and of course now you're down here working a little bit more on your game. What was it like uh, playing with the Rockets uh, that time that you had with them? Rockets was I enjoying the time. If it was a short time, every time. But uh, I learned. I'm learning from uh, this time with the Rockets, and uh, and here I, I try to to work on uh, like post move, be aggressive, uh, get back in, get back in shape from my injury. So. Uh, it's going good for, for now, and I try to keep going. After spending some time with the Rockets, do you feel like, hey, I can hang with these guys? I can play up there. I can play in the big league. Uh, yeah, I think I can play with the big league. I just need to stay focused on what I'm doing. Let's talk a little bit about your background. You're from Switzerland, is that right? Or yes. Swedish? Switzerland? Uh, I know there's a difference between the two, but yeah. tell me a little bit about your background. Uh, I'm from, uh, I, I was born in Switzerland, Geneva. And uh, like at 15, I moved in France on uh, you know, the Academy of Basketball. So uh, to 15 to 20, I was in France. I was in France, and uh, that's it. So yeah. you went to school to play basketball, work on your game, and yeah. you know, hopefully you know make it into one of the European leagues or something like that. Yeah, at first I, I went to France because it was like an academy of a, a pro team. So mm -hmm. that's why I went like, over there. And uh, after they signed me pro over there, so. Uh, I signed pro, I did a good first year over there, and that's why I tried to go to the NBA draft. Awesome, awesome. Well, you know, the Vipers here, y'all are trying to get back on the winning track here. You know, the Vipers have won a couple of, uh, you know, NBA D-League championships. Uh, what is it going to take for y'all to get back on the winning track? Uh, I think you need, uh, we need to be more consistent on defense and uh, defensive rebounds because we know we don't have a lot of big guys inside, so uh, we just need to, to keep going, stay aggressive, and I think it's gonna be okay. Let's talk a little bit about tonight's team. You're playing uh, the Los Angeles Defenders, and uh, tell me a little about, this is a team that scored 175 points earlier this year, and they also scored 174 points on Saturday. Okay. So how do you stop a team that has a potential to score that many points? Uh, I think we gotta be uh, at the same intensity, and I know this is a good offensive team of, uh, on the rebound. So, uh, like I said just before, we need to be uh, really just uh, focus on the defensive rebound. And uh, like I said, we need to uh, keep the same intensity, the same rhythm. And uh, after, we'll see. All right. Thank you very much, Clint. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you.